today. From Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. It's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. He got his tight end. It's Fells. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. The numbers for him from a week ago. Six catches, 63 yards. And they think they have a matchup advantage in this one. They're going to try and find some space for him to work and make sure he touches the football. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off the play. It like he let him roll too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stop. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Avery Williamson. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six. They were just hoping to make a play and get off the field, get their offense on. Instead, they did one better. Pick it off, take it into the end zone. Well, they did what you said. They got they off did the get field. They're going to have to come right back on. They're going to come right back on, but happily, right? They put the ball in the end zone. That's the way you start a game. That's the way you set the Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the catch there by Brandon Cooks. And it's hard to believe that he's on his fourth team in five years because he's produced everywhere that he's been. Houston hoping to see the Brandon Cooks that they saw in New Orleans, in New England, and in Los Angeles. 2009 bounce back. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Game, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meeting? And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around a 48-yard line. Tyson Aguilu. Busting through to get him for a loss of six. For the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to attack a screen. Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against them. Special here on third and long after that sack. What does Watson have in his arsenal? Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Joe Hayden, the veteran with a pick. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. The Steeler offense set to go to work, and once again at the helm, their longtime starter, that's Ben Roethlisberger. And it felt like it watching the game tape. He got everyone involved last week. He was know? a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurate.
This is David Johnson, the former All-Pro. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26 of the week from last week's effort. And part of the reason he got that award, because of plays like that. Not every play is spectacular. Not every play is for a loss. Make the plays that are in front of you, keep it to short gains, and you pile up statistics. And not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing on third down, Watson. And that will be incomplete. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three. Here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. He's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession, and they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? Johnson, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Well, first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And not much, maybe a yard up to the 29. And this is why up the D-lineman to make the play. The Texans on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. And a throw there, going to be incomplete. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one. As he'll kick it away for the second time. And he fields it cleanly. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And that will come the offense as they take over. James Conner and the Steelers ready to get their next drive going. And no doubt he's come out of the gate strong only in week three, and you see the numbers thus far. And we always talk about identity, setting a tone, you know, getting, getting the groundwork laid for It's Watson. That's into the hands of Isaiah Coulter. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. It hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off by Mike Hilton. The 40, 20, 10, and he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. Now, boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve past then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. Throwing after the interception. That's going to be caught by Coulter. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stop down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. Pass the 20. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. This game really becoming a one-sided affair. Pick six there. It's in danger of being over before halftime. And that's going to be a major league test for both of these teams. Because, look, you feel like you've got...
got this thing locked up, right? But on the other side, in the other locker room, it's going to be a test of pride now. Forget speeches, forget adjustments. to the interception. Watson and Cooks has it over the middle. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. To throw again on second down. Watson, he gets it left side to Johnson. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Throw left side complete. That's Johnson. The Texans going to signal for their third and five. Second down at six now from the 42. To the air yet again, Watson. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. Down incompletion. They'll come up now against a third and six. Watson, he fakes to Johnson and now looks to throw. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Steven Nelson. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. And make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Now he's forced out left. He's going to take off with it. And he's brought down at the 24 after a game of own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. From the gun, here's Watson. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off at about the 31. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better... Jordan Akins. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move secondary. And I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open, probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Now Watson's throw is taken in by QT. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was a completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. But we've talked, it just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an income. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Steven Nelson. Charles, whatever's going on between his 
his ears right now. It's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get. They begin the drive with Johnson, fighting through. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two drives, ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was tough. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by the linebacker, Avery Williamson. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. And I just had to double check my man. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about that. I've been checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a bad spot, they're trying to figure out what they can do to change it. And sometimes they try too hard and they never get out of it. And that's where he is right now. He's just locked. Now a first down throw, Watson over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. You always worry about those smaller receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Watson. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, his second touchdown on the season. And the Texans are able to make things a bit more respectable. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Are you going to slow clap on me? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Extra point. And they make the score a little bit more respectable here in our final quarter of play. That drive started on their own 25. Open man, the tight end fails. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive. And a completion there. It's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard facing a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards out of the gun watson and his throw is going to be incomplete you can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield they had nothing working in the secondary so he dropped it off to the running back down as bad as you can be 0 for 7 thus far this time they face a third and two and that is incomplete Watson on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. That one was timed well. Incomplete. On second and ten, Watson. Forced out to his left. 
Deshaun Watson, so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. Sometimes guys get locked into such a groove. What do we call it? The game slowing down. They see everything happening almost in slow motion. They see the lanes develop. I feel like he's right there. Well, and you want this from your leader, right? With this deficit, this stage into the 31 now on first and 10. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. It's football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now a dump off here complete. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch. Oh, they become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really complete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, Watson, open man is QT, complete. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available, and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. First downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Watson looks to throw again. It's caught left side by Cooks. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 40. Again, it's Watson. Johnson with a completion over the middle. It'll be a gain of four. And I'm back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs. And they <laughs> he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Tyson Alouli able to record his fifth sack of the season. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So I just bring this right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. No way to go with the football. That led to the sack. And out there, they look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They will indeed snap it to one. Ah! Pressure too great, and he goes down once more. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Steelers, they're going to take over. Excellent field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't matter. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Pittsburgh, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for Houston, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll get a home date next week against the Minnesota Vikings. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field. <laughs>